I like you, kid. But you're my bestest buddy. Hey, kid, what's with the silent treatment? Hi, everyone. We're going to start in just a minute. The lips on my face go round and round, round and round, round and round. The lips on my face go round and round. Hey, kid, don't you have something better to do? Uh, you know I need your help to keep talking, right? <laughs> so excited to be here with you today um, because this is one of my favorite story times to do. It's all about potatoes. And if you can't tell, you can see over here, I like to collect potato heads. And this is a potato head. It's a body that you can put pieces on if you have never seen a potato head. They are pretty cool. And they were invented all the way back in 1952, and they looked something like this, except they didn't have a body. You had to put pieces onto a real potato. So you would get some pieces and you would have to put them in and make a real potato into a potato head. How funny is that? And then um, they, let's see, oh, potato heads are 68 years old. That is really old. And back when they turned 50 in 2002, they had sold over 50 million potato heads. And let's start, I'm gonna scooch these out of the way so you will be able to see the books that we're going to read today. Let's start with a book about a real potato. This book is called The Enormous Potato and the sign for big, are the letter B's and you hold them together and then you bring them apart because it's bigger. So we're saying, oh, it's big. Oh, it's really big. Oh, it's huge. 
and the sign for little are two letter L's and you make them close together. It's little, but this potato isn't little, it's big. The enormous potato was retold by Aubrey Davis. the enormous potato there was once a farmer who had an eye it wasn't like your eye or my eye it was a potato eye and the farmer planted it and it grew into a potato when we're done with this book i'm going to show you some potato eyes the potato grew bigger and bigger It grew fat. It grew enormous. It was the biggest potato in the world. Whew. It's time to pull it out, said the farmer. So he grabbed the potato. You can do this with me at home. You can grab the potato and he pulled and he pulled again. But the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So he called his wife. Wife, yo ho, wife. The wife grabbed the farmer and the farmer grabbed the potato. They pulled and they pulled. But the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the wife called the daughter. Daughter, oh daughter. Do you think three people will be able to pull the potato out of the ground? I hope so. The daughter grabbed the wife and the wife grabbed the farmer and the farmer grabbed the potato and they pulled and they pulled again. But the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the daughter called the dog. Here dog, here. The dog grabbed the daughter, the daughter grabbed the wife, the wife grabbed the farmer, and the farmer grabbed the potato. They pulled and they pulled again, but the potato wouldn't come out of the ground. So the dog called the cat. Ruff, cat, come cat. The cat grab the dog the dog grabs the daughter the daughter grabbed the wife the wife grabbed the farmer and the farmer grabbed the potato they pulled and they pulled again but the potato would not come out of the ground so they called oh the mouse wow help mouse help do you think a mouse will help them pull the enormous potato out of the ground Oh my goodness. The mouse grabbed the cat. The cat grabbed the dog. The dog grabbed the daughter. The daughter grabbed the wife. The wife grabbed the farmer. And the farmer grabbed the potato. They pulled and they pulled again. Out came the potato. That's a big potato, said the farmer. That's a big potato, said the wife. That's a dirty potato, said the daughter. So they washed it and they chopped it and they cooked it too. The smell of potato brought people from town. They brought forks and bowls. They brought butter and salt. Soon everyone was eating potato. My, was it good. They ate and they ate. Till the potato was gone. The end. I can't imagine growing such a big potato. And I have some potatoes to show you. I have two potatoes. And you can see they are two different sizes. This one is little, and this one is big. And let's look for one of the eyes on the potato that the farmer planted in the ground. They look like this. 
are so little, but if you cut one of these and a piece of potato and you put it in the dirt, you cover it up and you water it and the sun warms the ground, pretty soon the eye will begin to grow and it will grow a potato plant. And then there'll be more potatoes underground. And here are some little potatoes that we have that we did not plant under the ground so that you could see the potato plants. They're starting to grow. And look, this one had a lot of eyes. They're starting to grow. All right. I said I was going to show some of my potato heads. So I have some Star Wars potato heads, like here's Chewbacca. And I have some bad guy potato heads. Here comes some stormtroopers. Oh no. And if there's stormtroopers, do you know who else is gonna be here? Dun dun dun. Uh-oh. It's Darth Vader. And he has his potato lightsaber. And they have laser potato mashers. Now, these are not all of my potato heads. I think I have almost 150. It's a bunch. And here is one of the potato heads I got for Christmas. This is Groot from the Marvel movie Guardians of the Galaxy. And he looks like a tree. All right, let's look at two more. And then we're going to read another book. There are even potato heads that are for winter time. This one has a smile made out of coal and a nose made out of a carrot. He looks like a snowman. How about this one? What does he look like to you? Maybe a tree? All right, let's read another book. This book is called I'm Bored. And we are all at home. And some of us might be feeling kind of bored right now. Oh, there's this little girl here on the cover. I'm bored. Oh, look at all those words that say bored. Bored, 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 boring. I'm bored by Michael Ian Black and Debbie Ripath Ahoy. I'm bored. Bored. And she says, blah. Oh, she's so bored. I'm so bored. Do you feel bored sometimes at home? I know I do. Hey, a potato. A potato? What am I supposed to do with a potato? She throws it up in the air. And ow! And the potato says, I'm bored. Talking potatoes? Oh, how silly. Want to do something? Sure. What would you like to do? I don't know. I like flamingos. There are no flamingos around here. Well, that's disappointing. I'm bored. you do with a potato? A potato that talks. Whoa. How can a potato be bored? Cuz I have to hang out with a kid and kids are boring. What are you talking about? Kids are fun. Prove it. Kids are fun. Kids can do lots of things. We can turn cartwheels, boring, and skip, boring. 
or spin around in circles until we get so dizzy we almost throw up. <gasps> Boring. Kids can play games and do ninja kicks and walk on our hands. See? Boring, boring, boring! Those aren't boring things. You know what else? Kids can imagine stuff. What kind of stuff? Like this. See, now I'm a famous ballerina. Do you know what the potato says? Boring. Now I'm a lion tamer with the most ferocious lion in the world. Boring. Oh yeah? Well now I'm a fairy princess with my own castle and dragons and unicorns and stuff. Oh, she even has a sword. Snoring. Kids can swing. Boring. Kids can jump. Boring. Kids can fly. can do anything. You're a little Boring. Now she has them in a jar? Boring. A rock and roll singer? Boring. Pirate ships? A monster? Boring. 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 What is she dressed up like? A potato. Boring. How can you possibly think the kids are boring when we can do all this cool stuff and think all these amazing things and be anything I, we want to be? I'd rather be a kid than a potato any day. She must be very angry to be shouting so much. Look at that angry cloud. Oh. Hey, a flamingo. Now we can finally have some fun. Do you remember at the beginning of the story, you wanted to play with a flamingo? And the flamingo says, I'm bored. Oh. And that is one of my favorite potato books. Let me know if you like that one and my silly potato puppet. Let's look at a couple more potato heads and then we'll read one more book. Here I have, whoa, a rock and roll potato with a microphone and a guitar. And look at his pink fuzzy hair. I like that one. About a beautiful fairy potato head. She has wings and hair like Tinkerbell. And how about this one? This is a character from a movie called Indiana Jones, and when you push on his head, it makes noise. Let's look at, let's look at one more. How about these ones? This is Iron Man. And then I have a little tiny Iron Man too. Oh. I'll look at this one before we read our next book because 
This is a cute potato head. She is a princess with sparkly pink shoes and she has a frog and a beautiful hat. She is very cute. And the next book we're going to read is called Rot, the cutest in the world. And look at him. Does he look very cute to you? Maybe not too cute. Rot, the cutest in the world by Ben Clanton. Hello. This is Rot. He is a mutant potato. Whoa. Like most mutant potatoes, Rot loves mud and eating stuff. Oh, he's eating garbage. Nom, 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 nom. And all sorts of games and contests like checkers. He says, king me. Oh, and all sorts of games and contests like a staring contest. Ready, set, go. So when Rot sees a sign that says cutest in the world contest, he can't wait to enter. Cutest in the world contest, enter now this way. Rot is sure he'll win. He is so sure he sings a winning song. I'm the cutest in the world, the cutest in the world, the cute, cute, cutest in the world. Oh, my poor ears. What is that awful sound? But then Rot sees the other contestants. There is an itty bitty baby bunny with fluffy floppy ears. Oh, a little little bewitching bewhiskered cuddly kitten. Oh, so cute. And an itty meeny pink and peppy jolly jellyfish. Oh, they are so cute. The other contestants don't think much of Rot's chances. My poor adorable eyes, he's hideous. Eek, I think I'm going to be sick. Ooh. Oh, they're being mean to Rot. Rot considers eating everyone. He would win for sure if he were the only contestant. Nom, 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 nom. But it wouldn't be a very nice thing to do and would probably give him indigestion. Boof. Maybe Rot would be cuter if he had big ears like the bunny. Hmm. Look, I look like you. Uh, no. Or maybe it would help if he had whiskers like the kitten. They're kind of itchy. You look ridiculous. Take those off. Perhaps if he were pink and peppy like the jellyfish, we're pink and we're happy. Does he look cuter like this? Mm, I don't know. None of it makes Rot feel any cuter. Oh. So Rot decides to just be himself. He doesn't stand a chance. Is he actually going up there? That takes guts. Up last Rot. He's going on the stage. Rot steps on stage and struts his stuff. He smiles, his biggest smile. He shows his best side. Eats his butt. What do the judges think? Drum roll, please. And the judges are whispering, whisper, 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 whisper. Rot is the cutest in the world. I think I'm in love. He's perfect. Look. The judges are all rotten fruit and vegetables. Ah! 
seriously? No way. Huh. Ross gets a great big trophy. Oh. It is so shiny that Rock can see his reflection and Rock thinks he looks like the cutest in the world. Oh, this contest was totally rigged. Wait, are you wearing a unibrow? Uh, do you like it? The jellyfish has a unibrow. The end. And that was Rock the Cutest in the World. Thank you everyone for joining me today. And I will see you next week on Monday for Toddler Time and Story Time on Wednesday. If there is um, a book or a theme that you think of, you can let me know in the comments. And tomorrow we are gonna have another craft with Constance. And then on Friday, we are gonna have Stories with Sunny right here on Facebook. And stay safe. And remember to wash your hands and we will see you soon. Bye everyone.